Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing a jack-o'-lantern tutorial. Happy Halloween! Here I am, bare face, ready to roll. How you doing? Hey, what's up? So the first thing I'm going to do is glue down my eyebrows with a glue stick and put some concealer over them, and then I'm going to talk about how I came up with this idea. So this is my inspiration picture by a girl called Vocally Shook on Instagram. The main thing that I like about this photo the most is the highlighting and shadows and how well they are used. If you just look at this photo it looks like she's all orange but actually like there's a lot of yellow and white used and then the shading underneath the tears and the highlights but I know that I'm probably going to rough draft in the edges first. Um, one thing that I didn't notice about this photo is that the lines do not match up face to neck and um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to make the lines match. I didn't really, you really don't notice it when you first look at it. You're like, oh cool, you know, lines, whatever, right? But I mean, I've been really looking at this photo like <laughs> for a while, so um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Shout out to Vocally Shook for the inspiration. I knew that I wanted to do this, so I started looking for it first. I've always wanted to do some kind of jack o lantern pumpkin face thing. But her photo is one that I really like stopped and stared at because it's just like amazing. So anyways, here's her Instagram if you want to check it out. It's terrific, by the way. Um, <laughs> let's jump right into it, Phil DeFranco. Now that we've talked about where I got the idea, I'm going to go in and cancel out all the undertones including my under eyes with my Bye Bye It Cosmetics Concealer. And then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. I did not use any foundation. This is the base of that pretty section. Here's the deal. Um, I have my eyebrow flat enough, but under the coverage of face paint, this eyebrow is going to disappear just fine, but under the coverage of just like skin colored items, um, the eyebrow is gone. I mean, I've been kind of messing with it a little bit, which is why you can see it a little bit more right now, but the eyebrow is gone, but you can still see the texture of the hairs no matter what I do. So I'm thinking that I'm going to unglue this left eyebrow and, um, actually use my hair as a template for this black eyebrow. I think that's going to be better. I think it's going to distract away from everything else that I'm doing if I have some weird texture under an eyebrow, so that's what we're doing. So I'm going to wipe the glue off of that eyebrow with a makeup wipe. Ooh, sexy. And then patch up the concealer with the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. Now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner and I'm filling in my eyebrow completely just with the eyeliner. This is a black eyebrow. After that I started working on the pretty eye. I'm using my Everyday Z palette, which has all Makeup Geek shades in it. And I'm gonna start with this cranberry shade in the crease in just that inner portion right there. And then I'm gonna put some on the lower lash line and then in the crease just in that outer portion right there. After that, I need to give it some more depth. So I went in with Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is a blendable black shade with a smaller blending brush. And I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer V and then that little portion of the inner crease. Do some badass winged liner. And that's what the eyeball looks like. I don't know how this happens, but literally every time I do anything in my studio, I always get something on my right elbow from resting it on on the table. Ooh, yes. Blah. And then I'm going to curl those lashes and put on some mascara. Now I'm putting on a little bit of highlight just in my highlight region and at the brow bone. And I'm going to put on some blush. This is by Milani with my big old blush brush. She's got such a bigger forehead than me. As I'm always having forehead issues. It's either the creasing because I'm old or I just don't have enough of it. <laughs> I don't hate it. But how am I supposed to get a good taper with this much forehead? I mean, 
So now that I've got that pretty eye done, I'm starting to sketch out where all of the shapes are going to be. I started with the eye hole and the way that I made sure it was straight is, as you can see, I'm using a file to make sure that the line is straight across. Now that I have the eye hole shape down, I'm drawing the border line and then using a makeup wipe to clean up that border so that it's a harsh edge. I went ahead and filled my eyebrows in with the same eyeliner because it helps keep the eyebrow texture down and it really gets in the eyebrow hairs. I did not fill in my entire eyeball. I left just a portion around my eye space free so that I wouldn't block my vision at all. And then I started drawing the three dimensional portions of the hole. After that, I'm mapping out the mouthpiece on either side with my eyeliner and I'm doing the bottom line and then the top line all the way across. So I filled that in with black. I'm just making sure that those edges are all sharp like I need them to be. And then I drew the three dimensional portion of the face cut out and then the mouth. Now that all the face shapes are laid out, I started putting these little lines in between the two borders just to make it look like a cut line where the jack-o'-lantern was carved. And now we go to color. So these are the two body paints that I'm going to use. The yellow is gonna be the majority and then the orange is just going to be for the inside three-dimensional border portions. So starting with the yellow, I put the yellow all over my face because that is the base of this coloring design. Believe it or not, it makes it look like it glows. Now that I've got the base color yellow down, I'm using a strip of paper that I cut to hold from the top of my face all the way down just to make sure that the line is straight from the top to bottom. And I'm not going along the paper, I'm just using it as a guideline to make sure that my lines are straight from a frontal view. Now that the lines are done, I'm gonna start adding in the coloring. This is a Makeup Forever orange shade it is kind of orange, but it's more on the red side. So I'm just packing this really densely with a dense brush right at the creases. And after I get done with that, I'm going to use a compact but bigger brush to blend from what I put down into the yellow portions to make sure it looks orange, but I still want it to be somewhat yellow at the midpoints to make it look like it's glowing. And then I did put that reddish orange all at the borders of the design pieces as well. Switching to the orange Mayron body paint, I'm putting that just in the three dimensional border portions and then touching up the black line work as needed. Okay, so we've got all of the colors down. So I'm gonna start working on the shading because I feel like that's what really shines on this piece. This is a Makeup Geek Deep Brown and all the products will be listed below. And I'm taking that on a flat brush and I'm using that as shading to make it look like there's shadows on the inside of it so that it looks more three dimensional. And then just touching up the line work and making sure that it looks shaded on all of the three-dimensional portions. And now I'm adding the black shading on the inner portion of that pretty eye to push that whole piece back a little bit. Now I'm going to start the shading on the actual creases. I'm just taking Urban Decay Black out on the same flat brush and I'm going to plant that at the crease and then pull to make a little line and then shade it outwards. Now that all of the shadowing is pretty much done, I'm starting with the highlights. I'm just using a white Mayron water-based face paint and I'm going to put little bitty highlights all over the pumpkin to make it look like there is a higher point there. All right so I gotta go pick up Charlie and uh really need to go to Walmart but uh uh I don't know there might be some repair on this when I come back. We'll see I guess I don't know we'll see. All right I'm back I have some mild damage right here for my sunglasses can't not wear sunglasses outside sorry but that's just how I feel about life in general. So I'm going to have to patch that up real quick and then proceed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Went to the drive through That was interesting. So I'm going to patch that little spot with some yellow and then touch it up with the orange. And now I'm going to start going down the neck. So I'm drafting in the lines that go down from the face and then using a makeup wipe as needed to fix it. And I'm just using a Wolf Water Activated Black Face Paint. This is a waxy face paint, so it's better for line work. So you've been riding around with the makeup on? Yeah. I just went through a drive through and this lady was like, oh. <laughs> Oh. I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pick my nose so terribly oh, bad. No, quit. <laughs> 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 but I've got paint in there so I can feel it like. Why did you paint inside your nose? Because I'm, I'm dedicated. <laughs> I got to get it in there. <laughs> uh, 
They can't it's, see no it skin. It in my ears and stuff too. I did my nails last night. This is going to be full out. Why would I not paint inside my nose? <laughs> I know it's paint, so I'm not f***ing with it. You know what I mean? But it still feels like every few seconds my man's like, booger, booger. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Oh, it looks bad. I can't see what I'm doing. It's bad. <laughs> help me, roommate. Come help me. I cannot get that line straight. It's hard to see back there. I can't, I can't see what I'm doing over here. Draw this line for me. Just draw it straight down. So it's just like, you know, so it connects. So I guess I can't say this is all my artwork. Yeah. I'm not perfect. No, that's fine. I'm putting yellow in the middle anyway, so I'm probably going over part of it. Thank all you. Right. Jeff, the roommate, ladies and gentlemen. Now that I have everything drawn out on the chest, I'm going to do the same coloring technique. I'm starting with the yellow Mayron water activated face paint. Charlie, say hi. Hi. And then touch up the line work and start with the reddish orange coloring down. I'm just doing it the same exact way I did on my face using a really compact small brush at the creases and then using a bigger compact brush to blend it out from the creases. And then using orange in the little three-dimensional borders that I have there at the bottom and then doing the shading with the Makeup Geek Brown to shadow in those three-dimensional borders. Now I've got the black down in the crease just like I did on my face, Urban Decay Blackout, and I'm adding some highlights in as well and some cracks, which is just the Wolf Black Body Paint, and then using Urban Decay Blackout as the shading underneath the neck piece. My neck is breaking out from something. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? You can't win them all. You see that little red spot right there? Feel some itching. All right, I'm gonna go pop my contacts in, I think. That's Charlie in the background, if you can hear him. But I now have my hair pretty much done. It's so humid out that like it's not staying in, but I'm just gonna try to hurry up and finish up. Obviously I have a contact in now. And um, basically the last thing to do is this eye socket and some eyelashes. And only one wither is left. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put on my Lily Lashes in Miami on both eyes. You don't really need the eyelash on the other eye, honestly, but I wanted to go ahead and do it because I thought it would just be pretty from the side at least. And then I'm going to fill in that eye hole with the Wolf Water Activated Black Body Paint and making sure to get that all the way up to the lash line. I did put a little bit of orange hairspray at the tip of my hair as well. It stinks. <laughs> and that wraps up this tutorial so if you like this tutorial make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.